welcome to Geeps Go to Eurogamer. Uh, we're here at Earl's Court for the Eurogamer Expo it's 2013. a little bit exciting. It looks awesome, despite the fact that they've actually got the Wolfenstein um, it's thing. It's fine, they've turned Earl's Court into yeah, the, uh, all of the, all of the, the Nazi Palace for the day. But so far we've got the Surger Simulator, which we're going to show you in it's a minute. awesome. Looks we've already had our first free t-shirt. Oh yeah. Uh, and we should give them a shout out really, free t-shirt. Um, yeah, for, for no, no DRM. DRM. Which Everyone hates DRM, of course, we'll wear the t-shirt, maybe later. Yeah. Um, what maybe. are we going to be playing today? We've got X X Xbox One first play, got PS4 first play. <sighs> so excited Titan to play on Fall. the PS4. Titanfall is going to be immense. So Oculus Rift. I'm going so straight for, for Call of Duty Ghosts. Oh, you do that then, and I'm going to go find a new FIFA so I can play FIFA 14. Wow. Um, we'll be doing none of that. Nope. Uh, We're going to be playing Creed 4, oh, Surgeon yeah. Simulator, sounds good. Oculus yeah, Rift. With the Oculus Rift, that's going to be immense. Fable Anniversary. Look forward to oh, that. Man. Also interviewing Ted Timmons as well from uh, Linehead. Which that's going to be awesome. awesome. Really looking forward to that. Uh, I just, I, I'm fed up for standing outside, if I'm honest. I want to go in. Let's go do some gaming. Yeah. <laughs> Right, we're having a go at um, Surgeon Simulator 2013. Reg is sitting down here with the old Oculus Rift on. Now, I'm seeing people behind playing it on PC. They've been playing the, the space levels in particular. Now, I'm, I'm sure you're finding, obviously, it's a completely different game on Oculus because you, yeah. it's getting the accuracy has got to be something you've got to work on. But yeah. how, are you, I mean, how are you hoping this all turns out? Is uh, Oculus the future for it, do you think? Um, I mean, it's definitely very interesting. It obviously gets a lot of... Uh, attention when it's out here. I mean, we've got these Hydra controllers that act as your hands in the game. Now, they since discontinued these, but there are some new versions uh, coming out by the same company that actually are all wireless. And the thing is, what's different with those is their little motion control packs are attached to the controllers. They're called stem packs. And you can actually just take those out and get extra ones. Um, so you have two in the controllers, which will perform the same thing he's doing here with his arms. But you can take out one of the packs and attach it to the Oculus Rift. And from that point on, it then tracks your head movement. So if you lean uh, or turn around or, or move in a space, it'll know where you are. So whereas at the moment we have to use the control sticks to move around the room, we can actually have this. We can corner off an area um, and then let the someone like physically walk actually around walk the around. room and actually make it feel like they were in there and, and they can, like, yeah. Wow. That's 2014, Surgeon Simulator 2014. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so we're really, we've already, it's on Kickstarter at the moment, we've already backed them. Uh, so we're looking forward to getting our wireless things. And Absolutely. You can guarantee within the first kind of day of getting that in the office, we're going to have, we've been walking around a virtual surgery. Amazing. Okay, so we just had some hands-on time with the Yeber, new Ninja, Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden Z, Zed. Uh, coming out on the PS3 and the 360. Z for Zombie. Uh, from what we played, I reckon that would be a very good shout. This wasn't even on my radar, not even heard of it. It is um, looking really interesting. Cell shaded. It's more, far more on rails. Yeah, definitely Imagine, more. essentially, the camera um, knows where it wants to go. You've got no control over it. You just have to fend off hordes and hordes of zombies, which is pretty yeah. awesome. But the special moves seem completely OTT. Just yeah. threw a zombie into a steamroller. The first thing I did when I picked Amazing. up the pad was 40 uh, move combo. Which it was indeed. I'm yeah. quite impressed, I managed <laughs> it, to be honest. So, but, but it seems really, really impressive. Yeah, um, like the look not of quite it. sure when it's coming out. I believe it may be the tail end of this year. Um, but I'll double scope that one and post it up when I see it. Um, but yeah, very, very enjoyable from what I've played so far.
Okay, so I'm here with Ted Timmons at the moment, who is the lead director of Fable Anniversary. Um, so yeah, just wanted to take a few minutes of time to ask about your new game. Um, obviously, it's one of the biggest games uh, that's going to be coming towards the end of this generation. Which brings in the first question. Obviously, everyone's been pining for this game. Yeah. You've dragged it out. You've dragged it out. You've finally released it at the end of the of this uh, lifetime of the generation. Uh, can I ask just why you bring it out on the 360 instead of the Xbox One? Well, I think I mean for me, and I, I think you know, if you asked anyone that worked at Xbox, they'd share the same opinion. I don't think this is the end of the Xbox 360. I mean, sure. Xbox One is our new platform, and it looks absolutely amazing. Um, but the Xbox 360 is in like 80 million households. There's not just going to be a switch that one like gets turned off. I think the Xbox 360 has actually a really awesome lineup this Christmas. You've got like World of Tanks. Obviously, you've got all the third-party titles as well, like Core Duty. I, I shouldn't probably advertise loads of other titles, but basically, <laughs> we still believe the Xbox has a lot of legs in it. And um, from a Fable perspective, our entire fan base is on 360: Fable 2, Fable 3, Fable Heroes, Fable Journey. And you know we could have put it on the next generation, but it really felt like this is a this is a game for the fans. And you mentioned it yourself. You know our fans have been crying and saying, "Look, we want this game. It's almost 10 years." So if we had put it on Xbox One, they might have just been a little bit upset because you know they, they've won it on their shelf. They have just this one this yeah. one slot. So uh, I'm really really pleased that we have brought it to Xbox 360 and that we prove that the platform still has a lot of life left in it. Okay, so we're here in the replay area for the Eurogame Expo 2013. This is where the retro happens. This is where childhood were made of. They've got everything from Commodore 64 right the way through uh, to the last generation of the original Xbox. Um, so many classic titles that are on offer to play now. And it just literally, this will take up most of my day if we don't leave very soon. Uh, we've got next gen. Why do we next gen when we've got previous gen? Superb. Right, that was a little bit of a jump pack day. Oh, that was crazy, absolutely crazy. I can't believe that we managed to fit in so much. It yeah, was right up to mental. the nose. What is it, 10 past seven now, we just got kicked out. We're playing yeah. pinball, nah. I was gonna say, yeah, I can't believe we managed to play the X-Files pinball <laughs> machine from years ago. And probably one of the highlights of the awesome. day. Awesome. So good, going well, back to the old school Genuine, stuff. genuine highlight of the day, go on. So hard. It's a toss up between, I, I love the Xbox One pad. Yeah, we're going to go with completely Forza. just nailed it there. Yeah. The, the feedback Very on nice the triggers. Feel. Yeah. Superb. Um, the Oculus Rift uh, Surgeon Simulator was really, really, yeah. really entertaining. Love that to pieces. Um, but I, I, th I think I Wolfenstein, so I genuinely think Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein was superb. That was really, really I different. Was I didn't expect it to be it. that good. Um, it, was, it, was on, it was superb. It was on PC, so it was, you know, it graphics turned up to 11, but it looked yeah. amazing. Yeah. Sound on it, but so playable. Really oh, mate, enjoyed it. Was, it. it was stunning. Really was entertaining. I mean, mm -hmm. apart from that as well, like uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Oh, yeah. We had so much That's fun doing that. That's probably the most fun I've had all day. Yeah, that I was no really, doubt really, that was really good fun. the case. <laughs> No, so good. So <laughs> that was good. good. But again, um, Ted Timmons with Lionhead. Yep. That was an awesome little interview that we had, we had set up there. Hi. Um, very much appreciated that. And yeah, he was yeah. awesome. In fact, Fable, Fable anniversary. anniversary, really, really looking forward to. I was a big yeah. fan of the original. But well, and that's it. This just looks like, again, they've just turned it up so many <sighs> yep. notches. Start chasing lunch. chickens again. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, yes. But yeah. I mean, I'm hungry, I'm tired, we have a long train journey. Yeah, um, and we were slightly ashamed of ourselves because we went and tried to play Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Wish they, they were like, it was 10-2, there's nothing else that led us on. No, they were like, we've got space here, lads. God damn it. Um, I want to play that again. Oh, go on then. We went in and there was no space. They were like, oh yeah, we're kind of finished. Well, well, just yeah. don't take us in there. So, why so we played in pinball there? instead. Yeah. But it's fine. Which was nice. It's all good. Thoroughly enjoyable. Right. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. I'm, I'm totes done. Cool. All right. Well, I've been Reg. I've been Dan. Time to geek, geek out. out. Bye. Bye.